Hi there, Lori Elke here. Today I wanted to do a drawing of a bicycle. This is actually really similar to the bike that I have and maybe I'll even add a little video showing how I love to ride my bike through my neighborhood. All right, so here is the picture, super fun. And if you want to, you can even add a little basket on the front. Um, or there's a lot of different things you can do to make it your own. So have fun with this one, and I can't wait to see what you come up with with your bike drawing. All right, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe below if you're enjoying these art videos, okay? We'll see you next time. So I'm starting off my bike picture by finding something round, and I'm gonna use this masking tape for the two bike wheels. I'm going to start with one on this side, like that, and then I want to leave a good amount of space in between, and I'm going to go ahead and make the other one. Cups would work well for tracing, or I'm sure there are other things that you have that are round bottles or whatever that you could work for the wheels, okay? Once I've got my two circles, I'm going to start adding some lines. The first line um, is going to be from the center of my front wheel. It's going to be the front of my bike, and it's going to be a diagonal line that goes up to where the handlebars are going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. If you want to use a ruler for this too, you can. I'm just going to kind of wing it. It's going to be for the handlebars, which are, will come off of that line, okay? Then on the back wheel, I'm also going to find the center of it and I'm gonna make three lines. I'm gonna make one that's kind of uh, at a little tilt. It's not exactly straight up and down. That'll go just above where the tire is. I'm gonna do another one that's quite a bit more diagonal that is gonna be connected to where the seat goes on the bike. And then my third one is actually gonna be a horizontal line and it's gonna go not quite to halfway. This would be halfway between, and it's gonna go probably to right about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my third line to that part, okay? Now to connect the front and the back of the bike. So this line that I just made needs to connect to my front part of my bike. And I'm gonna do that by making kind of a curved line that goes down and around and connects there, okay? Then I need a place for my person to sit. So I'm actually gonna make this one maybe a little bit longer and I'm gonna make a diagonal line here. You don't want it too close to the wheel um, because that obviously would cause issues if your line was bumped up against the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that line like that that it's outside of the wheel, but it connects these two together. And this is actually where my seat is gonna go. So while I'm up here, I might as well make a seat. I'm gonna do that by making a, a line first, and then it's gonna hook around and come back up to the top like that. So it's kind of a triangular shape, but the uh, ends are rounded instead of sharp, okay? Now, I need another line just to give my bike a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna start a little bit higher on the front here, and it's gonna mimic the same shape as my lower one, and we'll connect there to the seat line. And then I wanna be able to carry stuff on the back of my bike here, so I'm just gonna put a little bar here like that so that if you have maybe books or something you wanna strap to the back of your bike, you can do that. All right, for the front here, handlebars, I'm going to start by making kind of a U shape like that on the front. And then one's gonna kind of curve this way. And then the other one is gonna curve more this way. And that'll be a little bit longer. And if you want to, you can even add a little bit thicker lines for actually where your hands would hold the handlebars. I also like to have a basket in the front of my bike, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach a basket that's kind of hanging out off here on the front. And you can even get fancy and add some lines to make it look like a basket. And even put some flowers or something inside. 
I have a basket on my bike, my cruiser bike, and I love using or putting flowers in it. It makes it so cheerful when I'm riding along. All right, now we need to add a couple more details. Uh, right now, there's no way to get this bike moving, so I'm gonna start by adding pedals. And I'm gonna do that just by throwing a little circle back here. I'm just basically making a circle of where all these lines combine together. And then the center point here is gonna be where the pedals go. So you can go ahead and make a line that goes up for pedals and one that goes down and add a pedal. You can even thicken your pedals if you want to. So there are those. Okay, I also need a, a little line that kind of goes over the top of my tires here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one of those to the front of my bike. And then one to the back, and the, the back one's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna start all the way about halfway down the back and it'll go all the way to about halfway down the front, okay? And then of course we need the little spokes on the bike too. Um, before I do those, I wanna make my tires just a little bit thicker so that they are not quite so thin. So I'm gonna just use my marker and thicken up my tires. I'm a little bit more sturdy here for my bike. And then I'll go ahead and do that with my front tire as well. Now your tires don't have to be black, of course. There are all kinds of fun colors for tires and wheels. My bike has these kind of tannish colored wheels and then I've got a um, like a light blue color for the tire protector things. These things right here is light blue. I think all of these things are light blue and then my seat's tan, so it's a super cute bike. I love cruising around my neighborhood in my bike. All right, so to add the little um, spoke lines to the wheels, I'm gonna start with a cross. So vertical line and a horizontal line. And I'm gonna pretend like I'm cutting a pizza. So I'm just gonna keep adding some diagonals like this until I've got a nice even thing. It looks kind of like a pizza right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more smaller lines in between. And they don't have to be perfectly spaced out because sometimes bikes have them where there's like too close and then a bigger space. So you can kind of play around with that but I'm gonna add a couple more little spokes like that to make it look like a wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing in the back. So let's start with just my cross lines and then cut it up like a pizza pie. And then I'll add a couple more lines in here in between each of my slices of pizza so that it makes it look more like a bike tire, okay? And then you can leave it there and just leave it as a nice black and white drawing or if you want to, you can add some color, of course. There's not a whole lot to color on this bike unless I add a lot in the background. So I think I'm just gonna color in a couple of these flowers here because they are so cute and cheerful. And then I will maybe finish with that. one more flower and another one here that I'm going to do maybe with an orange. I've got lots of fun colors that I'm doing and then of course a blue flower as well and maybe I'll make my seat blue I like the sky. I love riding my bike and looking at the sky. I could also do this and, and have this colored in to maybe make it feel more solid or full. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I think it's super cute like that and I'm very happy with my bike drawing. So have fun with yours. You can design and style it as you want. You could even make some of these thicker and then maybe write words or something on them, but so fun. All right, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this bike tutorial. This is mommy riding a bike.